works out for him. His army is starting to look really scary. Even though it's similar army supplies, the mech is generally pretty efficient. You have to have it set up right. And TY is kind of spread out right now. Okay, is this a suicide mission by oh, Stats, man. or can he actually do it? This right. is a lot of siege tanks, man. But when the storms come down, that's where we're going to see if he can actually break this. Mm, a lot of soccer's left over. They do end up uh, blinking forward here, but I think TY has enough. Yeah, I think he just barely has enough. Wow, it, for a little bit, it looked like Stats might break through, but, you know, the further the screen pans down, the more yeah. tanks you see. And by the way, TY had those tanks really well placed. Mm -hmm. Just far back enough that you had to chew your way through everything else. Yeah, and he pulled his Banshees back from the side Storms, waited at that moment to bring him back in. They do have very high DPS. Wow, Phoenix is coming through here. I guess there really isn't much anti-air. <laughs> Well, but he takes him out anyways. Yeah. Bad idea there by that, stats. I, I like what he was trying because he's like, oh, you have almost nothing that shoots up, but Cyclones with their upgrade are pretty darn good against yeah, everything. Well, it's so. two Phoenixes too. Yeah. As we scale these two armies up, TY wins. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, like, if you're not going to win with a flood like he's already tried three times, you got to get a bigger economy so you can do repeated floods to whittle it down or you can switch your tech up. All right, not... Not too bad an engagement for stats for a little bit there, but again, you can see that kind of like over time as TY's unit count gets a bit higher, he's going to have better and better trades against this gateway based army. Yeah, exactly. This game has become quite interesting, Arto. Yeah. So I'm, really, I'm really digging it. Thank God we got one, huh? Yeah, no kidding. It looked like. There. Oh, but the maxes are such a different quality. Right. Like the fact that right now the production oh, tab no. is a bunch of factory units and one Phoenix for stats. It's like, well. This is enough uh, Banshees that he can just, no. yeah, take this out and then just take out all the workers. And this is going to add up to a lot. A recall comes back here. All right, good tag. Going to chase these down now. Oh, another might, fight here in the middle. Yeah, might get a reasonable punish there as well. Yeah, Phoenixes are fast enough, they can just stalk these Banshees forever. Ah, Zealot's coming over here to attack this bottom right base. They both managed to get a fifth base up. Yeah, well, it's about time, I would say. Yeah. Um, I still, I'm still on the same page as you, though. I feel like if this game goes on for much, much longer, I think TY has a better army. Yes, absolutely. It, it should scale just really, really nicely, whereas the thing is, Stats' is macro is not really back online. You just see a lot more production going on for TY right now. And the thing is, when you're staying this much in the face of the mech... Oh, man, oh, it's a lot. Yeah, I don't know about that. You know, the Archons do a lot of damage if there's this much behind it. Again, more attacks coming through here. Archon's on the run. It's so much gas when you lose the Archon, it's insane. He does want the Archons to fight against those Hellbats. And because he expanded over here and there was an attack down there, which he defended, he can now easily transition and push up over here. All right, some good Phoenix lifts there, but a lot of tanks being warped in on the bottom there. Maybe his Stalkers can blink on top. Counterattack of the Zealots yeah. as well. I think, I think TY overextended. Yeah, it seems so. You have to have a big enough army when you come in for fights like this. GG. All right. All right. Hell yes. Hell yes. A best of three to ruin the day of best of twos. The gods of bopping are angry.